Hey everybody, let's make it pop. It's Matthew Reinhardt here, and we are gonna make a really cool DIY pop-up rainbow. Ooh. All right, let's get started. First, you're gonna need to download all the templates onto cardstock, and you can use any color you like, um, but you're gonna need two pieces of cardstock. And um, you're gonna see there's two different types of lines on the templates. There are black lines that are solid that you're gonna cut, and then there are dotted lines that you're gonna use a ruler and a uh, paper clip. And you're gonna run the paper clip along each of those dotted lines. And you're gonna press a little into it. This is Kirsten, she's gonna give me a hand here in doing this craft. So she's pressing a little bit hard um, with the uh, paper clip along the edge and she uses the ruler so that she doesn't, so she gets a nice straight uh, line. And this kind of tells the paper where it's supposed to fold because our pop-up needs to fold, right? Next, you're gonna cut out all the pop-up pieces following all those dark black lines. You're gonna follow the solid black lines and cut out all the pop-up pieces very carefully. And if, you know, if that piece of paper is too hard for you to cut um, the pieces out from, just, uh, you know, kind of chop the piece out of the piece of paper and then you have something a little smaller to work with so you can get all those curves just like that. You know, it's sometimes you gotta take your time when you're using scissors because, uh, um, you know, it's hard to get in there. And, and what I usually do, and, and Kirsten's doing this, she's actually moving the paper instead of moving the scissors and it, and it works a lot better, it's a lot easier. So if you have to, you know, turn the paper and then, you know, then you can carefully cut out all these pop-up pieces. She's really good at cutting out stuff, isn't she? And next, she's actually, uh, Kristen is pre-folding all these different pieces. Um, so this way, we're just gonna tell the pop-up pieces kind of which way that um, we'd like them to fold. So we're just pre-folding everything. If you can see how she's folding all these different pieces, um, that way, when we're building the pop-up, it's a lot easier for those pieces to move in the right direction. Folding here and folding there and... Oh, there's a lot of folds. Next, we're gonna glue the pieces down to the pop-up page. Okay, this is the fun part. So first, let's take this big piece here, and we're gonna we're gonna actually fold side A, and we're gonna glue it to this side here, just like that. And press it down. Don't you know? Be a little patient with with um, the glue, and then you're gonna paint the glue on the other side where the where where the gray is, where it says to glue it. And then you're gonna press it down again. And you're gonna make sure that that center fold of that piece is lined up with the center of the um, base page. Super easy, and just press it down and let it dry for a second, you know. Glue takes a couple minutes to dry. Next, we're gonna take this piece here, and we're gonna follow the letters where they're supposed to be. Let's see, that shape should follow, and that that these shapes here should follow the, sh the areas that they're supposed to be glued down to. Just like that. All right, so we're gonna glue down in area B here. We're going to uh, just paint a little glue within that little gray triangle. See that fold right there? Make sure it's lined up with the fold of that main central V fold. And then, see that C? We're gonna just flop that C piece under. We're gonna put some glue on it, just like that. And don't, don't squeeze that glue bottle too hard, because you know, get glue everywhere and it'll be a big mess. Let's do the opposite side. And we're gonna kinda do the same thing. We're gonna glue into the triangle B on this side. We're gonna fold it under the little piece, like so. See, it fits just right there. And then we're gonna glue it up and under just like that. All right, so now we know this is where the bottom, we need to add our rainbow part, right? So let's put a little glue on these little triangles just like Kirsten is right here. Awesome, and now, Let's add the rainbow piece. Look at that, and it fits right in. And you make sure, you do wanna make sure that the center fold of your rainbow is lined up with the center fold of the base page. Just like that. And if you make a mistake, you can always move it before it dries. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Look, my whole career is mistakes, so just keep on going. If you make a mistake, you just clean it up and fix it, and it's all great. Look at that, let's see if it works. This is how the pop-up should work once it's, once it's nice and dried. Let's check it out. This is the way it, lo it works. See how that's how it closes and opens? Just like that. And it should be built pretty flat. So when, 
when it's open, your pop-up should be able to go flat. Now it's time to decorate. This is the fun part, right? You can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use anything you like. You can use glitter, ooh, that's always good. Now, if you use glitter, don't forget, you gotta let that glue dry before you close your pop-up, otherwise your pop-up will never open again. You can add all kinds of other stuff. Oh, glitter, and you know, make a message inside that card. Look at that, oh, isn't that so cute? And don't forget to decorate the outside of your card because, you know, you want to see, you want a nice surprise on the inside. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's like a rain. It's so beautiful. All the colors. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It is so cool. Hey, thanks everyone for joining me for making this really cool DIY pop-up rainbow. Oh, we need a little color, right? Wow, that was a really cool craft. Hey, thanks for joining me. And if you want to check out more, be sure to hit like and subscribe below. And if you want to be notified for upcoming videos, be sure to hit the bell and you'll, uh, you'll know when I put something up. All right, see you next time.